The Vatican has published a guide with proposals to end human trafficking. It's to combat prostitution, slave labor and trafficking of both immigrants and organs. One of the authors of the document explains that the first key is to raise awareness about the diffusion of the problem. It's when you realize that what you thought of as a foreign problem happening in a country far away that you can't understand, when you realize that this is happening here and now, then, uh, then you, you change your attitude. According to the UN, out of at least 2.4 million missing persons, it's estimated that 80 percent are in forced prostitution and 17 percent are in forced labor. Many on fishing boats are in agriculture. The Vatican document proposes facing the cultural root of the problem, such as individualism and consumption. Thus, it's important to not only act against those who traffic people, but also against the customers who buy them. Other measures are to facilitate public complaints, to collaborate between institutions and create social conditions so no one is forced to leave their homeland. These texts can be useful for those in charge of dioceses, but also for those who want to know, understand and apply Pope Francis's ideas. It, it should be read as, a, as proposals for policy. It's up to citizens to make it clear to their state that, that this is something that is going on within our borders in any state. These are things happening in our borders and the first uh, entity that's responsible for the human rights and the security of all persons within the human territory, within the territory, is the state. So I think the state will have to draw its conclusions. The Vatican Department has also published a compilation of the Pope's interventions on human trafficking. The text is also a database published in its website in five languages.